There are two types of retinal artery occlusion depending on where the blockage occurs. The first type is called a central retinal artery occlusion which affects blood flow to the entire retina and is the more severe type. Uh, the second type is a branch retinal artery occlusion where the occlusion occurs downstream and that only affects a portion of the retina which leads only to a loss of a portion of your visual field. A patient with a central retinal artery occlusion notices uh, sudden onset of painless vision loss in one eye. Often patients will describe that it's like a curtain that comes down over their vision. A retinal artery occlusion is diagnosed with a full ocular exam, including a dilated fundus exam in which the retina is inspected. Often the embolus which caused the central retinal artery occlusion uh, is something which is visible and can be seen uh, with our naked eye. Uh, ancillary tests help us to make the diagnosis. A fluorescein angiogram may be performed which can tell us the extent of the blockage and the damage to the retina. Another test which is helpful is uh, called an OCT or optical coherence tomography which can show us thickening of the retina which happens in the acute setting. Regardless of whether we are able to bring back vision in the acute setting, an uh, important component of management is a referral to your primary care doctor to look to see if they can find the source of the embolus to try to prevent future events that may affect your eye or your brain. Uh, your primary care doctor will likely order a scan of your carotid arteries looking for a cholesterol plaque and likely a uh, scan of your heart to look for any problems with the valves or any clots that may form in the atria. It is still important to follow up with your ophthalmologist because complications can occur weeks to months in, down the road, uh, including painful glaucoma or um, inflammation in the eye. So uh, it's important that the ophthalmologist takes a look and is able to try to prevent these things from occurring.